Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. I typically bring you my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. This time around, the Crimson Map Pack just was released, and so I want to bring you a gameplay from the Map Pack so you can see what it's like. If you haven't purchased the Map Pack yet, I'll give you as much information as I can so that you can make an educated decision whether you want to purchase it or not. If you've already purchased it, hopefully you can learn a little bit from the gameplay. I actually uh, am playing Extraction here, which is a brand new game type. So even if you're not playing on the new maps, but you want to play some Extraction, uh, this might give you a few pointers so you can understand exactly how that game type works. So let's dive right in here. This is on the map Shatter. And um, of course, from the new map pack, there's three new maps. There's Shatter, there's Harvest, and there's Wreckage. Okay, so this is Shatter. Um, and I'll tell you, they all feel very similar. All three maps are very, very similar. They're all large maps. Uh, they're all mostly outdoor spaces with a uh, few indoor spaces. Uh, they're all mostly kind of this rocky, dirty area with a few scattered buildings in between. So they all have a very similar to feel to them. And in that sense, I will say that the map pack is somewhat disappointing because it feels like you paid for three maps but only got one because they're all very, very similar. And as I've talked to friends and subscribers, the comments that they've made is that they, they basically agree that the maps feel very similar and many people are already becoming bored with them and this is like within 24 hours of it coming out and you can understand why you'd be bored with it if it's if they're all the same you know you basically feel like you're only playing one new map and so it, it is very easy to become bored with this very quickly so that's something to think about if you're considering purchasing this map pack um, let me tell you a little bit about extraction while you're watching the gameplay so you understand exactly what I'm doing and how it works. If you've played Dominion, this actually plays out very, very similar. So in that sense, it's not a very original game type. So again, the word disappointing comes to mind because it's not very original. Um, basically, there's going to be two bases on the map at any given time. And what you want to do is you want to run over to the base and push a button, which will basically initiate an extraction. Okay. And so once that extraction has been initiated, there's a time clock that starts counting down. Uh, starts at about 45 seconds, counts down to zero, and as long as your team controls the extraction through that point, then you're going to score a point. And first team to five points wins. Now you don't actually have to like hold that area down. All you have to do is initiate the extraction, then you can run off if you feel like it. Only problem with that is it leaves that base vulnerable for your opponent to come in and you know. Uh, alter or interfere with that extraction. So if your uh, opponents have initiated an extraction, you can run over, wipe out that base if there's anybody in there, and then initiate your own extraction for your own team, and then vice versa, the other team can do that as well. So here's a base, here's a little extraction point, uh, which my teammate has already extracted, so I'm going to sit here and try to protect it as best as I can. Um, so, you know, obviously it, it, it sounds a lot like Dominion, and it is. Um, you know, there's bases which you have to basically go in, activate, and then hold them down to score points. So it's very, very similar. The only difference is really is that in um, in extraction, there's only two bases instead of three. And additionally, the bases move around once they've been extracted. So once you extract a base, you're going to have to move out to a new point on the map, which you don't have to do in Dominion. In Dominion, you can hold down the exact same base throughout the entire game. So that's how you play it. Um, in terms of tips and tricks, Really, if you're going to be playing Extraction, I strongly, strongly recommend you use the Mobility Loadout, which allows you to sprint indefinitely, because all of these maps are huge. They're all so big, and it takes forever to get around them, so that's really kind of a frustrating uh, side effect of having all these huge maps is you have it's so hard to get around them so I strongly recommend you use mobility and especially with the way that the uh, new bases in extraction pop around from one area on the map to another area um, it can be very very frustrating that you got to move all over this huge map and if you don't have mobility it can be very very difficult to get around so that's something to keep in mind so while I'm at it, well, let me just give you my overall opinions of the of the map pack. Um, I'm, I'm not impressed, to be honest with you. And as I've talked to my friends and subscribers, I know a lot of people are a little disappointed in the map pack. Um, again, it doesn't feel like much variety, which is disappointing. There's no good new small maps, which I think we needed small maps a lot more than we needed big maps. And so it's frustrating to just keep piling on big, big maps when we really need some good small maps. So that's kind of frustrating. 
uh, I am a little frustrated with the DLC playlist right now because you know everybody's favorite well not everybody but m the most popular uh, playlists are the Slayer ones so Infinity Slayer and Big Team Infinity Slayer the two most popular playlists so obviously people like Slayer and people like Objective too I do as well the problem is if you go into Objective or I'm sorry if you go into the DLC playlist you're playing mostly objective like 90% of the games in the DLC playlist are objective games not Slayer games which is it should be the other way around it should be like 90% Slayer and maybe 10% objective because that's how the other playlists kind of balance out you know typically people like the Slayer games and you're not going to be able to play much Slayer in the DLC playlist right now so that's kind of disappointing as well so I want to throw out a poll question if you've already purchased the map packs and you've played on the maps let me know how you like them if you like them if you don't and uh, of course tell me why so all of the other subscribers and viewers can uh, make their own decision additionally if you've already purchased the map pack I'm sorry if you have not purchased the map pack let us all know if you're going to be buying it or not and why uh, thanks for watching everybody please make sure to check out my other videos I have other videos that detail the other maps in the new DLC so check them out again Halo 4 Tutor please like comment and subscribe I'll see you next time